a salary usually for full-time employees. The payment is calculated for a whole year and then divide into either monthly, fortnightly, or weekly payment. Before we do the exercise, please take note on this first. So we know one year is 365 days. And one year is equal to 12 months. One year is equal to 52 weeks. But technically is 52.18 weeks. If you think about it, we have 365 days in a year. And then we want to work out how many weeks in a year. So one week is seven days. So we just divide by seven. There you go. So technically we have 52.14 weeks. But to make it easier, we just make it one year equal 52 weeks. And one year is equal to 26 fortnights. So in another word, one fortnight is equal to two weeks. For example, Peter's annual salary is $49,200. How much is he paid each week, each month, each fortnight, and each hour if he works 38 hours each week? So first one. So we know one year is 52 weeks. So all we need to do is we go $49,200. And we divide it by 52. So we go $49,200 divided by 52 weeks. So the answer is $946.15. Because the number after 5 is 3, so less than 5. We round up two decimal places as well. $946.15. Second one, how much is he paid each month? So we know that 12 months is in a year. So we just go $49,200. We divide to 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So it's just go 49200 divided by 12. $4,100. $4,100. Next one. How much is he paid each fortnight? So we know that there are 26 fortnight in a year. So we go $49,200 divided by 26 fortnights. So which equal to 49200 divided by 26. So the answer is $1,892.31. How much is he paid each hour if he works 38 hours each week? So we know that each week he earned this much. So all we need to do is we just go $946.15 divided by 38. So 946.15 divided by 38. So that is the hourly rate. 946.15 divided by 38. So $24 and... 89 cents but before we do that the number after 9 is 8 so $24.90 $24.90 please stop the video and try this one yourself so we know her income is $1,540. So work out yearly income 
So we know that one year is 52 weeks. So we just got $1,540, you times by 52. So that will give me 1,540 times 52. So $80,080. $80,080. Monthly income. To work out her monthly income, we need to use the yearly income divided by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So 80,080 divided by 12. So we just go answer divided by 12. $6,673.33. $6,673.33. Please take note on working out monthly income because you cannot use weekly incomes times by 4. So if you use weekly incomes for 1,540 times by 4, the answer is wrong because one month is not 4 weeks. Okay, one month is 4 weeks and a few more days extra because some months is 30 and some months is 31 days and four weeks is only 28 days so to work out monthly income you must work out yearly first and then you use the yearly income divided by 12 please take note on that next one fortnightly income so we know that one fortnight is two weeks so to work out fortnightly we just go $1,540 and we times this by 2. So $1,540 times 2. So $3,080. $3,080. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. Tom is paid $19.70 per hour and works 38 hours a week. Calculate his weekly income. So we know that he works 38 hours in a week. So all we need to do is we just go $19.70 you times by 38. So we go 19.70 times 38. $748.60. Which equal to $748.60. $35,932.80. Last one, calculate his average monthly income. So we know each year Tom earns this much. So what we do, we just divide this by 12. So 35,932 dollars and divided by 12. So I just go answer divided by 12. $2,994.40 so which equal to $2,994.40 now remember with money we must write two decimal place so 0.4 means 40 cents thank you so much for watching